welcome back to another weekly craft video everybody. My name is Miss Tori and I'm here in the Whitewater Public Library's Makerspace. This week we have a craft activity that's great for kids. We are going to be making clay nature impressions. So you can think of these sort of like stamps that you make from natural materials that you find outside. So leaves, flowers, anything you like really. And you're going to use them to make a little bit of an indentation in the clay and then we're going to add some paint just for fun. So these craft kits are going to be available July 19th through 24th. Just stop by the library, grab your kit and follow along with the video. Let's get started. In your craft kit this week you're going to get a package of white model magic clay, a paintbrush, and some paint. Next, you want to go outside and collect some flowers, plants, and leaves that you think are beautiful. At home, you're going to want to make sure that you're working on a smooth surface, and then you're going to want to grab a rolling pin or something like this that is round, smooth all the way around, and that you can use like a rolling pin. Open up your clay and start working with it. Now it's up to you if you want to create one big project or if you want to break up your clay into smaller pieces and create a few different projects. So that's what I'm going to be doing today because I'm going to be showing you some different techniques that you can use to make your nature impressions. Tear off a piece of clay and roll it up into a ball. Squish the ball and then use your rolling tool to flatten it out and to help um, get it into the shape that you want. So you might want to make a, a circle, you might have some cookie cutters at home that you could use to cut out a special shape. For this one, I'm going to create like an oval shape. we go. Once you like the shape of your clay, go ahead and grab one of your leaves or your flower. Now I want you to look at both sides. So this is the front of the leaf and I can definitely see the veins, but when I flip it over to the back, I notice that the veins are sticking out a lot more. I can see them and they're more bumpy. I can feel them better than on this side. So I want to use this side to create my impression. So I'm going to place it with the bumpier side down and the front side facing up. Now I'm ready to grab my rolling tool again and I'm just going to push gently and roll over the leaf. I'm just going to do it one time and in one direction, um, pressing firmly so that the leaf indents into the clay. Nice and slow. There we go. And I can see that the leaf has been pushed into the clay. Now, if there's not an easy spot to grab onto, you might want to use your um, paintbrush to help you kind of pick up part of the leaf so you can grab onto it. So I just helped it um, come up a little bit there on the tip and now I'm gonna pull back. Ooh, that's a good one. So I think it's kind of hard to tell on camera, but in person, I can see this really well. I made a little bump there, that's okay. Um, it indents really well and this looks really nice and you can leave it like this if you, if you really wanted to. Um, but I'm gonna take it a step further and I'm gonna paint this leaf. Um, with one of my colors. So I'm just going to grab my paint and my paintbrush. I want to do a really thin layer. I, I grabbed a lot of paint in that um, on the brush, but I'm going to spread it out over the whole leaf. So I'm going to try to stay inside the lines and give it a nice coat. Okay. 
So I can still see my impression and I have a nice little coating of paint over it. So that's one option you could use. Another option is to actually use the leaf like a stamp. So when you use stamps, um, you usually dip them in ink. Well, we're gonna do the same thing with paint. I'm just gonna paint one side of the leaf. You don't wanna put too much paint. Just give it an, a nice, even coating. The whole thing, just like that. Oops. And then grab your leaf carefully and carefully place it on your clay. So once you've placed the painted leaf on your clay, just go ahead and give it a quick roll, very gently. And let's see how it looks. And that's a nice colorful impression there. So for this last one, I'm actually going to paint over my leaf while it's on the clay. So how I'm going to do that is just lay down my leaf, position it how I want it, okay. use my roller to just gently roll. Now it's kind of smushed into the clay, so it's not going to move. And then I'm going to take my paint and paint the whole piece of clay right over top of the leaf. Once we've covered the entire piece of clay, we want to very gently remove our leaf. And look at that cool impression that that leaves behind. If you wanted to, you could punch a hole in the top of your clay before it dries um, so that you could make a piece of jewelry or just hang your clay impression somewhere. Now, just wait for your designs to dry. Thank you for watching this week's craft video. We hope that you enjoyed this activity. If you complete this project, please share your photos with us on social media or via email. We love to see your completed projects. Find us at 431 West Center Street, Whitewater, Wisconsin 53190. Our current hours are Mondays through Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., Fridays from 9 a.m. through 5.30 p.m., Saturdays from 9 a.m. through 3 p.m., and Sundays we are closed. To keep up to date, add us on social media. And for more information, please visit our website at www.whitewaterlibrary.org or our Facebook page at www.facebook.com-ilypl.